you will never use a debit card again after watching this video. So as the majority of us have debit cards, credit cards, and cash, most people typically use their debit cards and cash. And some people do end up using their credit cards and end up putting debt on them. But today I'm going to be telling you guys how not to use debit or cash and use credit cards to build your wealth. So the first reason why you'll never use a debit card again is because you're throwing away money by using debit cards and cash. You may be wondering how that is, right? So let me go ahead and show you an example. When you use your debit cards to pay, you typically don't get any money back, right? You literally just swipe the card and you get zero dollars back the reason for that being is because you're literally just exchanging the product or service for the money however when you use most credit cards you usually get a certain percentage back depending on your credit card so for example most cards usually give you one percent back right so if you spent a hundred dollars you're gonna be getting one dollar back it might not sound like a lot but on the grand scheme of things it actually does become a lot of money and if you have a credit card that gives you back two percent then you'd be getting two dollars if you spent a hundred dollars and it doesn't only apply to a hundred dollars it could be 150 120 130 i'm just making it out of a hundred just to make it easier for this example so now let me show you guys a recent example of when i use my credit card and i got a good amount of of money back and I actually used that money to spend on something else which basically ended up being free so I recently bought I'm gonna go ahead and say it was a $2,500 laptop off Amazon if I were not have purchased this with a debit card I would have got zero dollars back if I were not purchased it with cash I would have got zero dollars back as well however I purchased it with my Amazon credit card which I ended up getting five percent back of the $2,500 which ends up equaling $125 and the reason I got 5% back is because the Amazon credit card that I have gives you 5% back on all purchases that you make through Amazon so by looking at this if you guys were to have bought that laptop you guys would have obviously gone and paid with your Amazon credit card it only makes sense because you're gonna be getting money back and not only that but just recently I had to do a transmission fluid change on my car and the transmission fluid actually cost me $130 so if we do $130 minus the 125 I ended up paying $5 out of pocket for the transmission fluid. So it was basically almost free. And I literally could have bought anything with $125. It didn't have to be the transmission fluid that I buy. It could have literally been anything else. However, the only reason I did it this way is because when I used my Amazon credit card to buy the laptop for $2,500, I already had $2,500 in another bank account, which I could pay this card off. So if I didn't actually have that $2,500, then it would actually kind of defeat the purpose because this Amazon credit card does also give you the option to finance. If I'm paying this monthly I'm just putting myself in debt I could have also just said that I don't want to finance it however interest could have accrued if I didn't pay it off in the first month which then that means I would have to pay this plus the percentage of whatever the interest is on that credit card which I don't even like dealing with interest I usually only use this technique if you have the money in the bank so what you usually do is buy what you need and pay it off as you go so the second reason as to why you should use credit cards is because if you don't you're potentially missing out on free money so aside from getting the cash back you also can be missing out on sign up bonuses so how these sign up bonuses work is that when you sign up for a credit card usually you get a certain amount of money depending on what the sign up bonus is so let me show you guys an example of mine that I used this year so I signed up for this credit card that gives me back 2% it's called the pen fed rewards card or something like that we're gonna go ahead and call it pen fed this card gives me 2% back as well as a hundred dollar signing bonus for spending fifteen hundred dollars which honestly it is really not that difficult because on average from what I've calculated on my expenses and I live a very frugal lifestyle so what I forgot to mention is that what I meant when I spend five hundred dollars on average a month well I didn't even say it but I'm saying it now is that that's what I spend on a credit card but not include including rent utilities or car payments because those things obviously can't be paid with a credit card because those are already basically like credited to you in a way i hate i had to interrupt the video that way but anyways let's continue on with the rest of the video those $500 a month pretty much equals up to $1,500 in three months so if we do the math here we're going to be getting a hundred dollars plus two percent of $1,500 because you're not only getting the bonus, but you're also getting your cash back for using that card. So 2% of 1500 is $30, which ends up equaling 
$130 for just doing regular spending. And like I said, I live a very frugal lifestyle, so you're not spending anything extra to get this money back because if you're spending anything extra just to get this reward, then you're basically losing that money. So let's say you spent $1480 and you're $20 away from getting that $1,500 just before the three months end. So if you go out and spend $20 just to fill that, then in reality, you're gonna be getting $130 minus that $20, which ends up equaling $110. Yes, you still did pocket $110, which you guys cannot see. I apologize for that. Yes, you guys did just get, this just get, this just get $110 for free. However, you could have got the whole $130. So what I would recommend in this case is go out and pay something for a friend, a girlfriend, a family member for $20 and just have them pay you in cash and then you're gonna be getting that reward anyways. And usually you guys can look up online what credit cards are giving out certain bonuses at a certain time. Sometimes they have deadlines and all this. And usually the reward is equal to a thousand dollars in spending is equal to a hundred dollars in rewards that's usually but as you guys can see right here that wasn't the case I had to spend five hundred dollars more just to get that hundred dollars on another credit card that I have I had to spend three thousand dollars in three months to get three hundred dollars in rewards and that also was the case for a chase credit card that I applied to last year so I'm letting you guys know how much your rewards would be so you guys don't sign up for credit cards that give you too little so let's say you're spending a thousand dollars to get fifty dollars oh, it's not worth it go find a better credit card that'll give you a better sign up bonus so if you guys watch to this point you guys might as well give this video a thumbs up because obviously you guys are interested and it shows me that I brought you value and that you guys are actually enjoying this video and another reason is if you're watching up to this point is that you're most likely financially uneducated and I don't mean to say that in any rude way but what I do mean is that you obviously didn't know the last two things or you might just be for the last reason which is hurting your credit score so the way you're hurting your credit score by using debit cards is because you're not using your credit cards and obviously using your credit cards and using your credit overall actually betters your credit score and right now you might even be saying that you actually do use your credit cards but you could be using them incorrectly which could be hurting you usually in order to better your credit score in order to show lenders that you'd be a good person to lend money to which is basically all your credit score is it's just a number that shows how good you are at paying back money and how good you are at basically spending money. So now let's say you have a thousand dollar credit limit, right? Chances are if you're using credit cards incorrectly, you're going to be over a 30% limit. So you don't want to be over a 30% limit because that shows that you're using too much of your credit cards or your credit amount. You're only supposed to use 30% of that. So 30% of a thousand dollars is $300. This is 30%, 300, my bad. That's the max amount you're supposed to use in order to not hurt your credit score because once you go over that amount and you don't pay that off immediately, usually it shows that you have a balance and your credit score actually goes down. And this has happened to me before because I just didn't pay it off on time. However, I do end up paying it off by the end of the month, which completely just rejuvenates my credit score. So ideally what lenders want to see you spending is anywhere between 1% to 9% of your total i'm gonna put total here so you guys know it's the total that would obviously be anywhere between ten dollars to ninety dollars which i know it isn't a lot but it's only on a thousand dollar scale which if you have a ten thousand dollar scale it's gonna be way much bigger and this usually only matters if you carry a balance over a month which this is not the goal here the goal of this video is to pay off the entire amount as you go as you do your regular spending so you get your cash back and you get your rewards and all that and the reason lenders like to see this right here the one to nine percent it shows that you don't really need to borrow that much money however when you're up here and you're over that 30 percent like 30 percent is actually the limit if you go anything over that it shows like you're desperate for money and using other people's money so you can pay stuff off which could potentially be a risk for the lender because let's say you fill up that thousand dollar limit and then you don't pay it off you might not care about your credit score then you can run off with that money and you just got yourself a free thousand dollars however financially in the future you're going to completely screw yourself which is not the goal mainly what we want to do here is use your credit cards but pay them off that way we don't have to really even worry about this but like i said you're most likely hurting yourself and your credit score if you're watching up to this point because you're probably using your debit card normally right but you also have this balance on your credit cards which is over 30 percent which is actually hurting your credit score which is probably why if you go look on credit karma right now and you are in the position that i just said you are in your credit score is probably going down so basically if you guys did not understand this whole video it is to start using credit cards but start using them strategically and use them to your benefit because they will bring you more money into your pockets or you can take it as you're going to be spending less money on certain things but in reality you're spending the same amount you're just getting 
some money back to spend on something else, which basically means you get that thing for free like I showed you guys. And obviously in order to start doing any of this, start applying for credit cards and start getting a better credit score and all this, you need to pay off some debt first if not the majority of it. And I will be making that my next video, so if you guys want, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop that video. And also, give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it or if I brought you any value. And if you guys give it a thumbs down for whatever reason, go ahead and comment down below why that is so I know what I can fix for the future. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.